The new The Long Dark update is finally here, and with it comes a brand new way to die in The Long Dark, the scurvy affliction. Let's talk about how it works. When you begin a new run, you will or your Astrid have a hidden vitamin C stat which is initially set at 500, and this number slowly starts to deplete day by day. Each food also has a hidden vitamin C value, and you can get an idea of how much is in there by viewing it in the menu. Each food item that contains vitamin C has either a minor, moderate or major amount. If the food item contains no vitamin C, then no value will be shown. If you play on the Voyager difficulty, vitamin C levels fall by 10 points per day, meaning 10 points of vitamin C must be consumed per day in order to maintain your levels. In Stalker and Interloper, the rate is doubled, so you will lose 20 points per day. If you are playing on Pilgrim or Story Mode, you do not have to worry about the scurvy affliction or vitamin C. If you allow your vitamin C levels to fall below 100, you will develop scurvy risk. At this point, you can tell exactly how close you are to completely running out of vitamin C. The percentage will slowly increase day by day, and once it reaches 100%, scurvy will occur. Eating vitamin C foods will lower the percentage, and once you reach more than 100 vitamin C points, the risk will go away. If you do develop scurvy, there are several negative effects that occur. First of all, you will lose about 0.5% of your health every hour and you also lose the ability to regenerate health naturally while awake. However, you will still recover health from stims, birch bark tea, healing recipes and sleep. Sleep regeneration is reduced due to the fact that the damage from the scurvy still occurs while you sleep. Overall, you will lose about 12% of your condition per day while afflicted with scurvy. But as long as you don't lose too much health in other ways, you can easily outheal the scurvy with a regular sleep pattern. Scurvy also causes a 5kg reduction in carry weight potential, a 50% increase in fatigue drain and a 50% increase in stamina drain. To cure scurvy, you must eat enough vitamin C to bring your levels all the way up to the maximum, 500. During this period, vitamin C will not deplete, so you can take as long as you need to get there. Once you reach 500, your scurvy will be healed and your vitamin C levels will begin to deplete from 500 as normal. So what does a daily recommended dose of vitamin C look like in the long dark? I will show you the amount required for Stalker and Interloper, but you can half the dose if you are a Voyager player. A daily dose of vitamin C in Stalker and Interloper can look like either 4 bags of ketchup chips, 10 granola bars, 20 cattail stalks, 2.2 kilos of coho salmon, 1 kilo of rainbow trout, less than 2 cups of rosehip tea, 4 cups of reishi tea, less than 4 cups of birch bark tea, less than one cooked potato, less than one can of tomato soup, or less than half a can of pinnacle peaches. For the late game, when all non-renewable items have been used up, the only sources of vitamin C available will be birch bark tea and fish. So fishing is no longer just something to do when you have nothing left to do in the long dark. With the recent addition of ice holes and tip ups, eating fish regularly shouldn't be too difficult. Just try and be one step ahead at all times. And that's all for this video, let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I've missed and let me know what your strategies are for keeping on top of your vitamin C. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.